The Luangwa River has one of the largest concentrations of hippo anywhere in the world. During the heat of the day, hippos stay not just close to the river, but in it. As water levels drop in the dry season, it becomes harder for them to find pools deep enough to submerge in. Their sensitive skin needs protection from the sun, so any deep channel in the river is a coveted territory, and hippo will fight to maintain them. Hippo live in pods, mostly made up of females and calves, with a few submissive males and a dominant bull. As space diminishes, the bull hippos begin to fight for the right to stay in the deep river channels. There are estimated to be over 40 hippos per kilometer of river. All of them now squashed together uncomfortably close. They spend most of the day in water, not just to protect their skin, but to conserve energy, especially now when food is so scarce. As the drought continues, things are only going to get worse for the hippo here. Cameraman Mike Holding explains. They, they all end up clustered together in a very tight mud hole. We've seen cases before of the mud hole just drying and drying and drying, and the hippos actually can't get out. They get stuck in the mud and they die there. So that's worst case scenario. It's quite interesting. Hippos are like social schizophrenics. And as soon as they're out of the water at night when they go to feed, they become solitary animals, which is quite weird. I don't know anything else that does that. And they don't tolerate each other out there either. You won't see two adult hippos walking and grazing together. They fan out across the landscape when they go grazing, and yet they're happy to tolerate all being stuck in this muddy pond. They're not eating here, they're eating back behind the river. And if you go out there, it's like a moonscape. There really isn't a blade of grass. So we'll see all these hippo trails going out to the south of here, and the hippos are following them every night. But where they're feeding is a mystery. 